Greetings, mortals. We are back. It's a rise to ruins and are carrying on the building of all the stuff. Now, right now, of course, I need to upgrade my makeshift farm. And I do need to kind of remove the phantom dart tower. Now, if you don't care how your build looks, you don't really need to do that. And also, the reason I am leaving three gaps in between most of my zones is simply because I can then build gates in between each one. You don't need to do that. In fact, it's actually preferable not to do that. It's just an aesthetic choice I choose because I like how it looks. But you will, of course, be needing to get your maze up and the running. Look at that. So you do need to get that going on. Which I'm just going to temporarily do here for now. And we'll see how it goes. Of course, I don't really have any defences going on right now, so it's a bit of a booger. Like, obviously, I'm going to have to make it go over here, which I'm going to do. Which means destroying this area over here, too. But, yeah. Now, however you do your maze, make sure you have defences prepped for it. Like, right now, obviously, I've got no defences. Which is a bit of an issue, but there you are. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in... Let's go with... I can put some Phantom Dart Towers. So let's put one here, and one here. There we go. And we'll slowly make it so that you have to come this way, and that will solve a few issues. But yes, make sure you start building a maze. You do kind of want to... Um, make it like too wide at times, or put a double layer wall between you. And the enemy to stop slimes spawning over. So you don't really want to do this as I've done it because slimes will when they split spawn over the side and of course distract your towers. So a double layer wall between you and there is good. Now if you want the enemy to not shoot at you at all you build the curtain wall. It requires cut stone but no nothing can fire over the stone curtain wall. The only thing I think which can do that is the blister. So if you don't want anything shooting at your stuff because it's too close, like say because you have farms, build the curtain wall. Just be advised you can't do anything and ghosts can still come over. But yeah, as you can see, things are coming on nicely. We still require more migrants, but that's fine. I'm going to grab some more essence. By melting down the dead, that's fine. We might need to grab ourselves another person getting rid of the trash, because right now, there's too much of it. The wall's going to take forever to build, that's fine as well. We'll of course be needing a lot more of it, that's fine. Oops, stole the stone there. I'm stealing the stone, I'm stealing the stone. Yeah, be advised to make sure you're actually clicking properly, you don't start stealing the stone. As you can see in the top, the sort of top, sort of middle right, my essence is going down. That shows you how much you have stored across all areas. Oh, here come the zombies at last. We have to deal with that. That is fine. Of course, we do need more stone to be dropped in. That is fine as well. We'll keep on doing that. Here you are. But yeah, you want to make sure your defences are up and running, which you start seeing stuff like zombies running in. Again, as long as you have towers built around your base, like I have over here, here and here, you should be okay easily. Okay, I'm hearing power. As you can see, they fire quite fast too, but they don't really do much damage. So there you are. As you can see, it's attracted a child zombie. It's taking hit after hit. The tower is slowly firing, doing significant damage each time. I could do with upgrading the tower, but right now, you know, we don't really need to. So yeah, get your walls up and running. You don't really want your people to be active outside your walls at night, obviously. If it happens, it happens, but you really don't want them to be active at night because losing people this early on when you have so few of them is obviously a major, major thing. Small slime, hopefully it dies soon. Someone hits it. Are you poisoned? 
You're green. Have you been poisoned? Are you just generically poisoned? Yeah, poison go you hope to heal. But we're getting there. Again, it doesn't really matter where you'll put your buildings, of course, building with certain orders, like having your wood next to the wood and so on, and that next to and like the lumber mill next to that means things get built faster. But it depends if you're going for aesthetics or speed. Like at the very beginning, you just want your buildings down. But again, I build so that it looks vaguely nice. Which means I will be deleting stuff at some point to move it around. Probably in between episodes, it's hard to say. Could need more lumber. You also want to make sure that you actually do have the resources available. Because as you can see, we are very much out of wood over here. This entire area has been cut down. And we haven't marked any more behind it. There we go. Better. I can, of course, regrow it. You can motivate the land better if it's raining and also warm. Oops. Where'd that zombie come from? So, yeah, if it's raining and warm, things grow better. So, the worst time to do would, of course, be winter. Okay, the ancient radiance pools scattered around the map. They gather essence. They're actually really bad for your empire because if something dies over here on the bottom, it will go to the Ancient Radiance Pool. So just be advised to figure out where they are to power yourself up from them. See, is that a defensive tower? Yeah, we've got our own Phantom Dart Tower, another Radiance Pool here, I'm going to borrow. Now, originally, they used to heal the enemy. They don't anymore, but they did used to heal the enemy, which is a bit of an annoyance, but there you are. You can see them grabbing as much resource as they can by people. Wood is a major one, of course. There we are. I also am, of course, low on the essence because I have been using it a lot to build up. So again, this is why we have multiple different tower types. Okay, he's attacking this. Please shoot him. No, just outside of range. Someone hits him. He's attacking it. Also, if you can't drop an item on a building, it means it's already been marked. It means there's an item already on the way, and you can't do that. Now, the way to, I don't know, get them to drop that item is to scare them. Say, dropping a log on their head or something like that. But if you cannot drop a log on a building which requires a log, it probably means there's a builder inbound with a log. He just knocked him out. Okay, we'll get that built up. There's child zombies being fought, not doing too much damage, of course. But you can also, if you need to, grab the enemy. Go over here. Better. Once that tower is up, I'll be happier. There we are, another tower active. Power is now pouring towards it. How are we doing with building? Got this going up over here. This has been active. Some more building. That is good. More essence over here. I'm going to be stealing. So yeah. You can't destroy the Radiance Pools unless they're kind of within your influence. But it's always good to know where they are. So you can power yourself up. Again, the more people you have, the bigger your essence bar is. So keep an eye on that too. But we do need a lot more people. An awful lot more people. The village must grow. We've got three more building spaces available. I am thinking of getting some defensive towers active. Oh, see, I scared him. He was carrying three three pieces of crystal, and then he ran away. Also, you kind of have to aim it right. You have a little glowy bit underneath your hand. If you don't get the aim right, you kind of miss. So be advised, you can just be missing, rather than it's currently full of resources, or resources are on the way. But yeah, we're low on the mana in the south, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, that's four. There's a guy with three over there. Okay. You okay? You are blighted. Mm. There we are. Two more defences active in the sooth. See, food is fine. Water is fine. Water is... Um, may actually need a second person again. Water is low. 
Let's get rid of another builder. So builders, of course, are highly important, but you do, of course, need to be manning everything else too. It becomes a bit of a catch-22. The landfill, we really don't want this to actually be full of stuff. But we kind of have it. So let's, uh, let's see, burner. Okay, burner is there, so let's have it there. Wait, it's a 4x4, four four, so I built it there, be there then. Okay, because I want to get rid of this. Okay. That requires cut stone, though. So, yeah, you do want to start getting rid of your stuff by burning it. A landfill's obviously good. You can, of course, if you really want to, build a makeshift processor, which is obviously a lot slower. And it is in your budget because you do have stone, I mean, wooden boards active now. So I do recommend trying to get a processor up and running. It's a five. Maybe there. Let's build it there, why not? But yeah, you also obviously have the trash can. So you can just build these so people can actually get rid of stuff in the area. Like, they do take up a slot. They take up a building space. But if you feel like people are just making too much of a mess, they are useful. Because obviously everything gets stuck in one place. But again... Damage builds, yeah, I know. Again, it's like another building slot you don't really have time for this early on. If need be, you can pick up the resources yourself and just drop them in, like that. Headless, zombie. There we go. That means we're low on essence. Yeah, we are. I need to melt something down. So if you do need a lot of essence, you can. Where is it? Dissolve the world. Dissolving the world. Especially on your crystal, will give a huge amount of essence. It's also highly useful to drop a dissolve on top of a massive corpse pile, like when a huge horde has come through, rather than just having to click on it yourself to melt them down. So I do recommend using dissolve as and when. Also, one of the good things about dissolve, it doesn't really tell you, steel, is if I use this dissolve now, you see how much mana I've got uh, here, you should get enough. Not only for the dissolve, but have extra mana. So you can actually use it to slowly power yourself up. So if you watch this. And the top. So you have now got the essence back. And you can see my blue bar is a lot more full than before. So if you need mana, I recommend dissolving down an area away from your village. Where you don't care... If it takes a while for the resources to come back, because again, crystal, food, and wood regrow. But look at this. Also, I have resources here I can grab too. But look at that. I now have enough for almost two. And all I've done was dissolve. So, yeah, dissolve, highly important, and I recommend using it immensely if you need to power up your essence generate, essence storage. Should require cut stone for the next upgrade. Yeah, so they're going to be powering up, which is going to be immediately giving the mana to these. Yeah, there you go. Combat is now ongoing. Uh, let's move you up here so you can get shot by that. Let's move you to here so you get shot by that. How are you doing? Actually, there we go. They're getting powered up. And resources are obviously moving about. We have more trash coming in. That's fine. We do, of course, need more people. Let's speed things up. We're going to survive the night. It's going to be a little bit damagey, but we are going to survive the night. Let's get this crystal already up and running. Crystal harvester. Obviously, we're still building up the walls. That's going to take a while, but there you are. There we go. Yeah, the wall's going to take a while. That's fine. There we go. So now they have to go here. So I wonder if I can do this and make them come around even more. There we go. So the maze is already ongoing. And so far, we're only being attacked from one place. I think that is how it always goes. Again, it's hard to always give a how-to when the game changes, but I've played 
a bit before this, I have yet to see it spawn in the second place. Originally, it spawned across the map, but now it only spawns in one place and slowly dissolves the map. We're going to repairing that. We're going to pause this. Put a food storage over here. We need some more food coming in. So the farmers are doing fine. That's fine. We've got building still going on with the stone. Oops, I'm stealing that. Shouldn't be doing that. In reality, I'd like to remove this Radiance Pool so I can just dissolve up here with impunity and not lose it to the Radiance Pool. But, you know, I can take what I can get. Let's just do this. If it goes to the Radiance Pool, it goes to the Radiance Pool. Everything else would, of course, travel to my base. So yeah, we're getting to a stage where you need more mana. Dissolve is your greatest ally. And I do recommend using it on the forest as well. Just any place you can get rid of it. And not feel the loss. I wouldn't recommend dissolving your own base. I mean, you can if you want to, but I won't recommend it. But there you are. Okay, power is pouring in. It's completely full now. That's good. Resources are still ongoing, as you can see. It's going to take a while, of course. But the wall is one of the greatest things you need when you start hitting day four, day five. So I do recommend getting it as quickly as you can. And like I say, helping out as and when possible. It requires two pieces of stone for each piece of stone wall. It's, you know, a little bit expensive, but by now you probably have your harvesters up and running. A stone piece, a wood piece of wall, there's only one wood, but again, I don't use the wooden walls for a simple reason that you've probably used up all the wood heavily for building work. I've got 32 boards. Let me have a quick check or something. So defences, of course, you are looking at getting an elemental tower up and running when you can, but it does require crylithium. Get the stone cutters up and running too in a second, I feel. Okay, we've got plenty of food moving about, upgrading this. These people are still getting food stored away. We have 14 buckets of water, 3 food stored. That's good. Like I say, you can help out if need be. Depends how you feel. But we're still building up. So once this wall is done, obviously they have to come this way, no matter what they do. It would be nice if they didn't try and destroy me after. Nomads, finally. Where are they coming from? Are they coming from the south? Yeah, they are. They're going to make it? Now, you can use the recall spell to recall them straight to your city centre. But obviously, if you don't need to, I wouldn't recommend it. That's getting closer. That's really getting closer. We have three more people. Fine, let's get another builder. Um, Got two farmers active, don't we? Yes. Yeah, you've got another Deloria Years, Dakota Johnson, Benedict Bruno. So one more builder. Let's get another Lumberjack. Um, I'm thinking maybe a third farmer. Why not get the food up and running? Upgrade that while we can. Upgrade that while we can. As you can see, the wood is coming in immensely fast because we have excess wood. Well, that's the point. Let's give it of one builder and have them working here. So actually have crystals stored. What am I thinking? So it's only got seven builders, but you do want to make sure your crystal harvester is running, your mining facility is running, and your lumber shack is running. The amount of people you have in there depends on how much floating resources you have and what is currently being built. Like, you might not need 400 logs if you're building it entirely out of wood. But like here, we've got 53 stone, and no one's really using it right now. I think the builders are trying to get everything done. If you see a building heavily damaged, you can up its priority. And I highly recommend upping the priority if it's badly damaged, or a tower. If you lose your towers, of course, you lose your base. 
But these will be built soon, as you can see, that one's already done. That one just requires no more logs, that's fine. And the wall is still coming nicely. There we are. And we have crystal finally being harvested. So now what you need to do is carry on building up, getting the uh, Crylithium and the cut stones. And I highly recommend getting the cut stones up because you'll be needing them for a lot of upgrades, as you can tell. And obviously the Crylithium is taken to your essence collectors and melted down for essence. So Crylithium is also for your mana batteries. I mean, you don't need to use it for your mana batteries, as it were, because you can also use it for building. But it is good for extra boosts in power. Let's see, these are powered up, that's fine. Upgrade, requires boards. Do it, upgrade that one, upgrade that one. So yeah, upgrade your stuff as much as humanly possible as you have the time, and so you don't overstretch your resources. You don't want your builders building thousands of things at once. That will really screw you over in the long term. But I do recommend continuously and efficiently upgrading your areas. Let's see, I want this to be up and running too, standard. What's the level, level for this? This requires boards, that's fine. But as you can see, things are coming along nicely. It's building it in the order I put down last. So the last thing I put down gets built first. And of course, if they have any spare resources, they build other things too. How are we doing? Got plenty of stone. Plenty of wood, that's fine. Got some crystal. Crystal's being used immediately. I'm kind of happy to see that, honestly. That means we actually needed the crystal right now and we're not wasting it. Obviously, right now, the maze is still pretty useless because the enemy can just sort of walk straight in. We have yet to get to go round the base. That will be the next stage. Right now, I just need it to make the enemy not hit my walls. So keep an eye on the time, currently midday. And we'll see how it goes. Food is a little bit low, but we're still building up. I recommend having at least 1 to 200 for winter. So you've got time, but you definitely need to keep on upping it. So this does need to be destroyed. As you can see, each upgrade does the damage more than 6 to 8, it was 4 to 6. So 8 to 10, it's not much, but it will start building up the more of them you have. Here come the boards. Perfect. This is now an established, this is 8 to 10. So the next level, as you can see, right, requires Crylithium, which we don't yet have, but now does extra damage, it is fire. Electric or ice. So you get to choose. And obviously you have a mixture. You can have multiple different phantom dart towers doing multiple different elements. Which you will of course be needed because the enemy is really expanding now. Poison bow tower at the back. So you will need to really fight them. But we need to uh, cut stones to make crylithium if you remember. But we're nearly there and sealing off this wall. Oh, 505, put you here. Let's kill him off. The more builders we can kill, the better. Because I can use my power on them when they come out of their zone. That's lucky for me. Come on, come here. Come on. Dagnabbit, so close. So if you can, do what you can to kill off some of their builders. To slow them down. They do occasionally path out, like this one, they're pathing to grab that wood. This is perfect. Because they need the resources to build the buildings. And the more builds they have, the more corruption is spread. So yeah, do what you can, get rid of as many as you can. That was what, three of them dead? Perfect. Go over here. Okay, so I can't build there, because someone's building it already, that's fine. Let's just move slightly further on then. There we are. The more I can help, the faster things go. There we are. 
And of course I need the front bit done so I at least have to path around a little bit. Did I get it? Are they still here? Oh, ah, I nearly got you. I got some wood though. So keep an eye on the enemy. And anyway, I have been the Fallen Shogun. but even more how to. I will see you next one, people. Have an awesome day. And may you survive the coming apocalypse. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Nearly there.